What is up, dudes? Lady dudes. <laughs> Guys, welcome back to Just Nuts here. Today, we got a new video, a really different video from pretty much everything, I've, anything I've ever done, we've ever done on my channel before. If you don't know, if you couldn't tell, that wasn't my voice talking to the ladies out there. Uh, <laughs> the lady dudes, the lady duelists out there. Uh, Mike and Chris are here with me. What's up? What's up, y'all? Yeah, yeah. Um... Super different video, pretty much, if you don't know, Link Vrains Pack 3 is coming out in like two months, a month and a half in the OCG, and we haven't had anything leaked for it yet, so what we did as a group, all three of us together, we played a fun game here where, where we all made a 20 uh, like Link Monster list, uh, pretty much our predictions for what we think is going to happen in Link Vrains Pack 3, and we're doing a little bet between us, whoever wins, the other two are going to go have these and buy them one set of whatever they want or we'll figure out a prize but we're doing something like that if you have friends definitely uh i would definitely recommend doing this because it's pretty fun just to put these lists together uh but today we're just going through our list talking about what we expect to see in link uh Vrains pack three and i don't know just thought it was a fun video but i don't want to waste too much time explaining it i thought that was pretty quick <laughs> to the point explanation so for, for John explanations, yeah, that was pretty quick. yeah thank you thank you all right we're gonna start with mike because uh he's feeling a little schlanky so we want to Get, get him, him out done of quick way. so he can uh, he can check out a little bit. <laughs> he's on face uh, he's on uh, like FaceTime right now. So if if he sounds a little choppy, that's why I apologize for that. He lives like an hour away, so it is what it is. It's the so, best we could do. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> yeah. we're just gonna start. I'm on the tier list maker here. We're just gonna get right out with it. We're gonna start with his first pick, Black Wings. Nothing really too surprising yeah. here. Um, my only thing with the reason I didn't pick Black Wings at least is just because they already made the Raid Raptor link in Link, link Frames Pack Three, so I thought, I don't know, maybe they wouldn't like it's all it already like kind of supports Black Wings a little bit, so I don't know if they'd make them their individual link monster. Yeah, that's true. Um, I just know uh, Black Wings—they're one of the most uh, beloved archetypes of all time. Uh, they have so many cards. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that was kind of my thought process with it. Um, it's kind of like legacy support in a way uh, with that. That's why I kind of chose Black Wings and as Chris did as well. Yeah. Uh, actually, we can just do these two at a time, honestly. So, Chris, you got Black Wings too. Nothing really to explain there. We already have that. Yeah. I assume you picked it for the same reason. Yeah, I picked it for the same reason, basically. Um, so, actually, let's just do these, like, just to make it easy. We, we all picked, three picked Satellar Knights or Teller Knights, whatever. Um, this, one, I, this one, I feel like, is the most... I don't know, out of any one, it makes sense that we all picked it because it's like, out of every single one, I feel like it makes the most sense, just period. Like this one, like it uses yeah, extra deck I'm monsters. It gets locked into clever. the extra monster zone mm -hmm. easy. Mm -hmm. It's a, a deck that was at one point like the best deck in the game. Like all like all stipulations that make it a good uh, pick for Link Frames Pack 3. Yeah. Also, you've had some, some fun messing around with Teller Knights for a little bit, too. I like me some Teller Knights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, next up, you two both picked uh, Ghost Tricks, which is a really interesting pick because they can't be normal summoned unless you already control them. So turn one, you have to set them. So I thought that was like an, an iffy pick, but I still think if they made it the right way, it would be cool. So what do you guys... Why I chose them... Uh, uh, because before I really was into Yu-Gi-Oh in any sort of competitive way, I just had like a bunch of cards, like maybe a few hundred cards that were just random bulk. And I had always seen the Ghost Trick cards, and they were always like kind of cool archetypal, like ar cool artwork for that archetype. And um, I know they're not in any sort of way good at all, but I, <laughs> yeah. I kind of personally just kind of hoped that they would get something going for them again like kind of almost like a legacy in a weird way to support um that was that was my thing with ghost tricks yeah uh, so my thing with ghost tricks is i was hoping that they get like at least like some sort of link monster some sort of extra deck monster that would help kind of bring the like s not solidify the deck but like kind of help boost it just a little bit and then with that would come more cards and more things to help boost the deck even further because like john said they can't be normal summon they have to be set first yeah and then you can start summoning the rest out so it's like it does they're take very, that one turn startup yeah so they're hopefully like the link monster can help solidify the deck and then help bring other cards yeah. to help boost the deck as well yeah and it could just I be one of those cool. oh what's that mike i just, i said i just thought it'd be really cool if they got some sort of link monster 
Yes, yeah, so this is more of a hopeful pick than really a close to yeah. competitive. It would be hardly even rogue, but it would just be awesome. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and I think uh, like when I think about Ghost Tricks, I think of like one of two things for them if they were to get something. I think of like Magical Musketeer Max, a card that's god awful going first, but going second, it's very powerful, and that's kind of like what Ghost Tricks could see if you just protect their one monster. Then next turn you link into their link one if it's like that good, and this deck's that slow and that bad that it could get a link one that's that strong. Yeah, like and could give them some option to like kind of pop off. Yeah, like even a link one that like lets you use the set ghost trick monster or something like that to mm-hmm. go into it so you have a face up ghost trick for to summon the rest you know things like that yeah yeah um next up me and mike both picked infernity um this one i think is super simple at least to me this one made sense because like a staple of like link frames pack especially link frames pack one and and link frames pack two but to a slightly lesser degree Konami loves to just pick decks that at one point were, like, at the top of the meta and fell off because they yeah. know there are players that, like, loved that deck that are older players and they wanted to see it come back. Mm-hmm. And so that's what they love to do, and Infernity fits that perfectly. We just got Infernity Barrier back to three, so I thought this would be a solid pick here. Yeah, and they're, they're a very famous deck. Anytime any sort of counter trap is released that negates... They're like, oh, this is the Infernity Barrier of that archetype. Yep, yep, every um, time. So they're there's something they're they're a name that's tossed around constantly. Uh, so in my mind, it kind of made sense that they would get some sort of support in the very last uh, link pack of the link the link era. Yeah, the Frames yeah. era. Gotcha. And that was another thing that I, I try to take into account here a little bit was presumably this is the last Link Rains pack we're gonna get. Sorry, timer. <laughs> Uh, presumably this is the last Link Rains pack we're going to get. Like, the Link Rains anime is over. By mid-next year, we should be into a whole new anime, a whole new, you know, you know, tier, phase of Yu-Gi-Oh! Mm-hmm. And assuming we're not getting another one, this could be their last chance to just pump out a ton of new Link monsters for old archetypes. Yeah. Now that they can't still make Link monsters for them, but this is their last chance to do a bunch all at yeah. once and kind of get them out. So that could be a factor in deciding some of these two. Next up, you both picked... Paleozoic Frogs. Chris, this one, you take this one. This one I, I kind of stayed away from. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I know Paleos are a really big rogue contender. Um, kind of always have been, never really been full meta. Um, and that's kind of why I picked a link for them. Um, yeah. I mean, they, they have Miss Starboy, but that just boosts their attack, and it's not necessarily for the deck specifically. So I was thinking like yeah. maybe something more a little bit more deck specific and archetype specific, something that kind of helps boost the the consistency cuz you're only really playing the three um, the three swaps, the like three dupes and two ronin totems like to con- like to play the deck and then the paleo is part of it too. So I mean, that's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah. Something to help just kind of increase it just a little bit more, make it a little bit better of a rogue contender. That was a weird one, because Paleozoic Frogs is kind of an archetype. Like, the Link monster could be a Paleozoic monster, or it could be a Frog monster, or it could simply just be, like, a Link mon- a link 2 that takes any two trap monsters, because True. they're weird like that. Yeah. Um, I think so that'd be that good, kind of yeah. Like that weird middle ground. Huh? I think that would be a good, like, in-between if it was Paleozoic-specific, where mm-hmm. it had to be the Paleozoics, and you couldn't just make use of the frog spam to get there, or any water or aqua monster to get there. Yeah, I think that'd be yeah. nice. If it was good, if it was, like, actually good, I think they'd, they'd want to probably link it into the traps. I think that would be a cool way to go about it. I just stayed yeah, away from it, because cool. they don't tend to put already competitive decks in the Link Brains packs. I mean, the only two situations we've seen of that is well arguably Alistair the Invoker of Madness with Invoke Mech Knight. Uh Heavy Metal Foes Electromite. Pendulums were already decent. They weren't amazing, but they were decent. Yeah. And uh Burning Abyss before they got Cherubini. Mm-hmm. Burning Abyss was already competitive. They weren't they were rogue yeah. decks, but outside of that, that's forty it's three out of forty decks that really like were already competitive prior to this, like at least on like a tier two or higher level. So I just tried to stay away from those in general, but I don't think it's necessarily a bad pick. I just Try to stay away from those. Um, me and Mike <laughs> picked Toon. Uh, this is a weird one because I think for both of us, this was kind of a um, 
a flyer kind of pick. Like, we don't have crazy expectations for it, but we figured, like, if it happens to be there, like, it could be. It was almost, for me, it was was almost like a collector's pick. Like, that'd be a a Link monster that collectors would love, but almost no one else would really blink much of an eye about it. True. You know what I mean? Yeah, but kind of like, I kind of think of like Harpy Conductor, like not a, like even in terms of Harpies, it's not even that great to boost the deck. Um, but Harpies are just such a classic archetype from the original anime, and this could kind of be the same thing uh, there. They're just like, people might just love it just because it's tunes, and all tune support ends up being pricey just because people love tunes. Um, next up, me and Chris, I believe, both picked Ancient Gears. Yep. Um, you want to hit on this, Chris? Um, so Ancient Gears isn't a deck that I've necessarily played myself, but I've definitely played a lot uh, against it online. And I always thought it was a really cool kind of OTK kind of deck. And I feel like a Link Monster might help solidify the deck for more long game. Yeah, I mean, it's just an OTK deck, so I don't know. If, if they got it, it'd be just something that helps push harder maybe play through the disruptions maybe i don't know just help them get to an otk situation through disruptions or faster or stronger whatever um i just thought it's like again a classic like anime deck that was good at one point and is you know people will like it (laughs) i don't know yeah um mike you picked amazonas right no no was that you chris i picked amazonas okay so it's me and chris that got amazonas gotcha all right uh, Amazon is, this is kind of like, <laughs> I mean, literally for me, I just look at this as like harpies. Mm-hmm. Like this is also a deck that my yeah, played in yeah, the yeah, anime. Harpies. It's not competitive, but it's like, has that nostalgia factor to it. And like, it's like, they could put harp, they could make like an Amazon conductor and it'd be the same like thing and it'd fit and people would love it. And I just thought it, it just makes sense. Yeah. That's honestly the exact same reason why I picked Amazon as well. It was another ne- deck that my played and it was a deck that isn't necessarily great, but could be great. Mm-hmm. All right. So next up is one that, <laughs> um, <laughs> that Mike and Chris picked. They went with Zodiac and just explain it. Cause I, I don't get this one too much. Mike, you want to talk about Zodiacs? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> good start. Good start. <laughs> They're, uh, I mean, what? They were the last competitive deck of the pre Link era, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mass uh, Girls 3. And, and they, they just completely dominated that entire format. Um, I don't know. That was just kind of a pick to me that seemed. Like I, I mean, I know they're an XE's deck. I understand that, but that to me that seemed like it would be a, it, it could be a possibility. It was, it wasn't anything that stood out crazy. I mean, like yeah, they have to be it, but it was just something like to me they seemed like that would be a possibility. Yeah, to me. <laughs> They had the possibility because they were a past deck that was the best deck at some point, which, mm-hmm. as we've said before, is yeah, a is a staple. Yeah. But the reason I stay away from this one specifically was they have they still have three cards on the ban list. I felt like if they if they support Zodiacs, it won't be in the form of new cards. It'll just be in the form of taking cards off the ban list first. They would do that before they even worried about getting them more support in the future. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's why I stayed off Zodiac. In retrospect, that makes a lot more sense than them giving. <laughs> <laughs> at least you admit. At least you're honest. Thank you. I mean, I picked Zeus because that's, that's my policy, baby. That's my policy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I picked Zeus because I mean, like, I feel like the I don't know if they're necessarily power crept out yet, but I know that they, like, even if they did have their cards back, I wouldn't necessarily think that they could. I mean, they might be able to hold their own against some of the meta decks we have now, but I don't necessarily think that they would be, you know, top contenders. I think co- top contenders. I think that they'd be, like, more of, like, rogue kind of strategy. So I feel like maybe a link monster to help them. Because, I mean, with Zeus before, it was you span the field with Xyz, and now if you, you can't even span the field with Xyz, you can only do one and keep uh, overlaying on top of that one in the extra monster zone. Yeah, so maybe, like, a link monster to give them two spots at least might be a little bit okay. I don't know. I, I don't mean, buy it. Dying a little bit with some of the most recent 
cards we've gotten. But I think uh, now Zodiacs don't stand like with the current formats. I don't, I, I don't think they stand as much of a chance as they used to. Yeah, I still think they'd be good. I still think th- I think they'd be competitively viable, but mm-hmm. too yeah, much time. Competitively viable, yes, but too- not. Shut up. <laughs> uh, I love you. <laughs> Sorry, we're trying. I'm trying to get through this. We're already at 15 minutes. Let's go a little quicker yeah. through these. Um, next up, me and Mike took uh, Fluffles uh, or Flash Fright Furs. Uh, this was super simple to me. This was, again, a deck that was competitive at one point, and it actually struggles a decent amount with Master Rule 4. It's a fusion deck, and once you lock out your extra deck, or your extra monster zone, it kind of just like can be not as good. You're trying to OTK, so you're trying to put multiple big bodies. So I thought an extendable link to uh, would be nice to just open up zones so you can put more fusions on the board in one turn. Yeah, and uh, Fluffles haven't been forgotten recent times. They got, uh, what was it? It was Patchwork recently. Yep. In uh, Dual Power. Yep, yep. So yeah, they already are all fresh uh, on the mind. Yeah. They haven't been. They're not like I don't think out. I'm still they have been forgotten, and to me, I was like, okay, so they've gotten a little bit of support recently, and they're kind of a beloved archetype. So, like, okay, maybe they could get a spot in uh, like Price Three. That was, yep. that was yeah. my idea. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Um, next, me and Mike again took Magnet Warriors. So yes. I. <sighs> So I don't know why Mike picked this one, but I kind of picked it. This was like, literally saying, <laughs> I literally picked, this was like, I think out of all my picks, this was the one pick where I was just like, cross my fingers and pray because they did Bang yes. Warriors so dirty. Cause so like, a, dirty. especially when they put ABCs right next to them, ABCs immediately a competitive deck mm-hmm. and it just did them so wrong. They just sucked so bad. So I just really, I think me and Mike just hope that they get something better. Yeah. Um, yeah. Next, Mike that. Mike and Chris put, uh, picked Predaplants. I think this one's pretty obvious. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you have, like... I mean, Predaplants right now, like, when you think of them, like, you don't really think of them as a full deck. You think of them as an engine to get to, like, Brilliant Fusion. Like, like I think Predaplants themselves, like, are a pretty interesting deck, you know, using some of the counters and things like that. And I think, like, a Link Monster just might help solidify the deck and make it more viable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, they're big fusion deck. They got they are giving support in the most recent uh, duelist pack. Yep. Uh, uh, but I think it would I think it would be really sick to see them get a link monster. And that was honestly that was kind of part of the choices. That was part of my reasoning for some of my choices. Just I thought it would just be really cool. Yeah. Uh, and that's one of those that I thought would be really cool to see get a link monster. Which I don't even think is necessarily a bad line of thought that you think is cool. Because if you think it's cool, then a lot of players probably think it's cool. And exactly. that's how Konami's probably looking at this. Like, we want to make cards that a lot, like a, a good majority of players would like, and they're yeah. trying to hit everybody. Um, I don't remember which one of you had Mecha Phantom Beast. Oh, uh, Mike. Me. Okay. Me. All right. That's actually one of the ones I'm most excited about. I don't have a crazy line of music about it or anything, but I think they're really cool. Yeah, same. Um, I like Me- uh, Mecha Phantom Beast. I think a lot of they were like such a hyped deck, and they this was like one of the be- biggest cases of like flopping as far as an archetype goes because this was super hyped and ended up not being that great. And I think this is just a chance for Konami to kind of make up for that with like Orcus stuff. Like right now, Tether Wolf and uh, O Lion are already like decent cards. Just getting you two bodies on the board super quick off your normal summon to go through combo. And if they got a an actual Link monster that just kind of was arguably better than like at least for them in like a pure version than like the um than the orcus stuff then you can do that and plus we're also expecting orcus to get hit pretty soon on upcoming ban lists mm-hmm. anything you want to add mike i uh so no okay don't worry about it we're moving on good <laughs> um next up uh me and chris picked ua this mm-hmm. was kind of a weird one because they don't really use the extra deck, but why did you pick them? Chris? Um, so as you know, UAs are like, <laughs> as you know, UAs are like kind of an interesting deck. I mean, the only normal summon in the deck, I believe, is midfielder yeah. at the moment, and I think that I mean, like, you have to like get midfielder to get to your your combos and things like that, and I think a link might just kind of help solidify the deck with searching out like another normal summon or getting you know some of the ball rolling if you can get a monster on a field via special summon or some other way yeah 
like, I don't expect it to be good, but it, it needs help. Like, the deck needs so much help. It has consistency problems because you only have one normal summon. Mm-hmm. And even if you do get to that normal summon, the deck still doesn't even do that much. So it'd have to be a Link 1, if anything. Yeah. And it'd have to be pretty strong, like, mm-hmm. pretty, pretty turbo y into other stuff. Um, but still, if they did, I, this is another one. This is kind of a hopeful one, but I also think it's TCG exclusive kind of screams like they missed out on making this deck better than it could have been, and yeah. this is their chance to make up for it. Um, next, you both picked Grave Keepers. I stayed away from this because they don't really spam too much, and I don't think they'd give them a link one, but why'd you guys pick them? Uh, Grave Keepers. They're, uh, they're iconic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Necro Valley is actually, I mean, even recently has been seeing uh, some sort of play <laughs> with uh, set rotation and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just think they were one of the cooler, like, even for me, it was, for me, it was just kind of artwork. Uh, not not fully that, but their artwork is, in my opinion, just phenomenal. I love their artwork so much, um, and I would love to see a link from them and they're also like I said they're just icon- they're, they're an iconic archetype they're they just everyone knows Grave Keepers yeah. yeah that's another reason for me like they were played in kind of like GOAT and you know I think that something almost nostalgia-esque would be a pretty cool thing to do like it doesn't have to be great but something to help kind of bring that nostalgia forward you know yep uh, next up, you guys both picked Luna Lights, which I kind of stayed away. Like, I I actually almost picked them because I think people worry because Orcus, Luna Light Orcus is such a strong contender right now. But I, if, assuming Orcus get hit in the next couple months, Konami just might say, Orcus is gone, so this isn't a deck anymore. Let's actually just give Luna Lights their own link monster so they can still yeah. do stuff. I think that's where you guys are going with yeah, it. Yeah, I was going with that a little bit. And also... Yeah, and I just think that the deck's kind of cool. Like, I kind of messed around with Luna Lights for a little bit, and I thought that it was an interesting deck, and it had a very interesting play style along with Fusion summoning, things like that, and that locks you into your one extra monster zone. So it's like, you know, something that just kind of helps them get multiple fusions on field, something like that, you know? Yeah. I like the way they play. Um, They've been getting a lot of attention recently. Asian Um, with cards. Even... I mean, even just like uh, that one before even Orcus Reaper released that Luna Light deck that won a YCS a while ago, I don't know, it's 2018. Um, <laughs> I thought that was really, really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because, I mean, they were super cool. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have Volcanics. This one to me was like I thought it I thought it kind of fit as like a niche role as like it doesn't really work with the other ones. It need probably a link one. They don't really spam at all. Mm-hmm. But at it just the fact that like Konami could like mix it up by having like a burn oriented link yeah. monster thrown in here. Um, I don't think it should be generic, but at least like I know there's a lot of people that are like pure volcanic players yeah. that just love it. <laughs> like you see comments on videos all over the place on YouTube. Um, All those memes. Yep, and yeah, so this would be cool. Mega Capital G video. Yep. Yeah, where's my volcanics? Where's my volcanics? Everyone, yep. Pay, pay 96, that's his name. So <laughs> it's kind of a flyer because you can't really bank on Link 1s too much just because they've only done three out of both the first two packs combined, but you got to throw flyers in somewhere. At some yeah. point, the obvious ones, there's only so many, and then you got to pick ones that are different. So I think that's why me and Chris did that. Yeah. All right. So the rest of these are singles, which means these are ones that we had separate that we didn't share at all. Um, so we knocked out all the doubles and, and triplets before. So we're just going to go through these kind of quicker. I'm going to throw them all in at a single time, and we they can talk about them. We can talk about them all at once, right? So I'll do mine first just so it's easy here. So I picked X Sabres. Uh, very old archetype, but it was the best deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! at one point, and it's kind of a flyer because it is that old, and it probably need a Link 1, but eh. Whatever. Naturia, this was kind of like Mecha Phantom Beast. It was a very hyped deck before it came out. It kind of flopped. It wasn't nearly as good as people thought it would be. As a lot of potential for negation if they had tools to turbo them into that. Um, so I thought that would be cool. Uh, I picked Roids. This is just a hopeful one. It's a fusion-based deck, so obviously any fusion-based deck could could take help from a Link Monster that helps open up zones and stuff. 
they just need help and I thought it's an anime character deck that's a pretty popular anime character so why not uh, Fabled this is like a discard deck and like everybody talks about Dark Worlds but I thought this is like the slept on deck it did surprisingly well in the structure deck vote in the OCG and so I thought that kind of might have showed Konami that like wow there are more people that like Fabled than we might have thought and they might want to release you know, support for it somewhere else and it could fit here um, Girgias I was surprised neither of you picked Girgias. This is an XYZ deck. It was very good at one point, and it actually can spam a little bit. Not a ton, but you can get three monsters on the field fairly easily with the deck, so a Link 2 is definitely, definitely easy to do here. I thought it'd just be cool. Um, next up, Ignites. Uh, Ignites, and I'll also throw in, where, where'd he go? Where's my mans? And Dino Mist. These are my two Pendulum picks. Um, we've had a Pendulum mon support monster in both the first two Link Frames packs, so I wanted to put them in somewhere. And this is just where I just, these were the two that made the most sense to me. Um, we have support coming from Performa Pals in the next Duelist pack, so I stayed away from them. Otherwise, they would have been my pick. But yeah, just wanted to get some Pendulum picks in somewhere. Battery Men. This deck needs a ton of, this is like a, a going second OTK deck, but it, it it really is not great at that, so it, I just think it needs support to be able to just help it turbo into a like board breaking situation a little easier. Play through disruption much easier. So I know I already said Magnet Warriors got done dirty, but I still put ABCs on here because I think they're cool too. And, I, and mainly I'm hoping for like a Union Link monster. I thought that would be the more cool thing here if, if it's like kind of generic, but it's like an ABC one, but it, it works with any Union cards. Um, I just thought that would be cool, and they're still cool even though Magnet Warriors, I like them more and they're not as good. I wanted, I still want ABCs to get a little support. And then my last pick is Bougins. Um, this would probably need a Link 1, honestly, but still it's another deck that was very good at one point, and that's pretty much it. It's kind of a flyer because it needs a Link 1 probably, but still, nonetheless, we're rolling with it. All right, who wants to go next? You can do Mike next. All right, Mike, you picked Monarchs. Real quick word about yeah, Monarchs. That's my actually most exciting pick. Um, I will say in general for the rest of my picks, I probably won't be as elaborate as John was. Um, but Monarchs was, to me, something that would be really, really cool. And uh, when I say Monarchs, I don't mean like our, our levels our level 6 and our level 8s and all that I mean like our our vassals like our um air, our um I can't think of their names right now, like the low level guys <laughs> yeah yeah the, the vassals you got it uh, yeah the vassals yeah uh, and I figured it would be kind of a link one um I couldn't give you the best idea what the effect would be like um but I just thought that that would be one of the coolest concepts for a really uh interesting and different link monster for the link brains 3 Gotcha. Uh, that was my, that was my my favorite pick, even though it was kind of a last minute pick for me. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna clump three of these together for you, Mike, because I think they can be explained pretty easily here, even though they may not make a million sense. I guess one of them makes more sense than the others because they're not really uh, extra eccentric decks. But Crystal Beast, Blue Eyes, and Dark Magician, you all picked. Uh, I'm assuming you picked these just because they're such fan favorites, and also. And uh, and also just like characters that are super iconic in the shows. Yeah, um, I also kind of picked them because I'm su surprised that they hadn't already gotten any sort of link support yet. Yeah. Um, I think Dark Magician is the most likely contender of the three, personally. Mm -hmm. um, Blue Eyes seems a bit different because it's all like level sevens and eights that you want to spend this board with, and then they kind of already have their uh, their XE's package that is really powerful, the, the Galaxy Eyes Photon and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and Crystal Beast, that, I don't know, I, that, that to me just seemed like one that would just be chosen. Like they're, they're kind of a fan favorite. They're really cute. Uh, they can do some fun things with like Rainbow Dragon and stuff like that. Uh, they're not good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't say I'm personally a fan of them in any way. But I think that would kind of be like a fan favorite kind of thing that they would kind of go for. Yeah. Uh, and it's also, and I'll just cut the middle man. Uh, the idea with Dark Magician and Blue Eyes is kind of the same idea with my Buster for later choice as well. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to save that for now, 
or like put it after, but it kind of works the same. But it's, it, I don't know. The deck like just does what it does so specifically. Yeah. I just didn't know if there was like I didn't pick this one because I didn't know if there was room for them to like fit in a link monster that even like worked with the deck because mm -hmm. they work so they do their they just do their thing. Yeah. Like every time, and it doesn't have. A, it's not a super like versatile deck like that, but it's still powerful. So I didn't know, but I also don't know the deck that well. But I stayed away from it there. It just could help them maybe more consistently or more powerfully do their thing. You know True. I mean? Yeah. Um, and then your last two picks are uh, Valkyries and Fortune Ladies. Um, nothing super yeah. crazy here. Just yeah. New decks getting support. Fan favorites, yeah. Those were my two wild card choices. Yeah, well, you got a lot of wild <laughs> you got card a lot choices. Of wild. <laughs> yeah, for sure. No, They got the well, yeah, and they got a new card announced yeah. too for their. That was actually pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe yeah. like just to help them out a little bit more. Yeah, they definitely need help. Yeah. All right. They absolutely do, and I think, and that was where my thought process was. I just thought it'd be really cool if they got something because they just they were a TCG exclusive and they just got transferred to the LCG and then they then they got a new card that was actually pretty decent, and then I think it'd be awesome if they got a link that could really just help them even further. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. Sweet. All right. So that's me and Mike's list. Then to Chris, Cosmos. Yeah, I actually just started recently playing Cosmos, um, and it's definitely like a fun deck. I know it used to be pretty good. They just got Destroyer back to three. So you know, I think maybe something that helps facilitate special summoning, um, something like that. Yeah, just nothing crazy, but something to help them out just a little bit more. Yeah, Yang Zings. Yang Zing is kind of like a wild card one for me. Um, don't necessarily like the deck myself too much, but I definitely think that they can do some pretty cool things. So I thought maybe Yang Zing's would be a pretty interesting choice. Yeah, I stayed away from Yang Zing's because I don't because I think their lore combines with like Zephras, mm -hmm. and Zephras do have a Link monster. So I didn't know if Konami counts them as the same or would stay away from that because they already went in there. No idea. Mm -hmm. No idea. Uh, Malefics is a weird one because I don't even know how they would yeah, even... Yeah, so I think Malefics because, I mean, like, in order to summon them, you have to banish from your extra deck the same kind. The or same, from deck or whatever. Yeah, whatever like the, the monster same name, is. Whatever yeah. it is. But I was thinking, like, a link to just, I don't know, summon something from the extra deck, something that can kind of help search cards. I don't know, something like that. Uh I picked Malefics. I don't it's know. a flyer. It's <laughs> yeah, clearly it's kind a flyer. Of a flyer. Yeah. Uh, Empowered Warriors is interesting. I almost like forgot these like count as an archetype. Yeah, but I guess yeah, it, it works. Yeah, when I was going through the list, I was like looking at them, and I was like Empowered Warriors, and I looked back and like I remembered like when we first started playing Yu-Gi-Oh before me and John were playing, it was me and Michael, and I had like Empowered Warriors in my Blue Eyes deck. For just like time. a bad yeah you know, like it was like a really like crappy deck and generic decent card yeah and i used to love the empowered warriors yeah and like the, i just like loved them and the artwork was pretty cool so i thought maybe like getting an in archetype link monster that kind of helps the deck around a little bit like nothing crazy but something something fun you yeah chronomalies yeah chronomalies just got support so maybe a link monster to help him out yeah nothing About crazy it. yeah, yeah. Uh, melodious I do like Melodious. I think that they're a pretty interesting archetype um, within themselves. They have that like protection lock, I think they have, or something like that. I don't know um, too much about it, but I believe it's like just a they just protect everything, and they just put a bunch of bodies on. Board yeah, it's like a blanket to protection. So I think a Link monster might be pretty interesting for them. Just a turbo into the fusion. Maybe one Link too, right? Yeah. Uh, no, Melodious don't have any links. Mm. Oh, you I mean, mean just get him one Link? Just, 
Yeah, yeah. And she's right too. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they can, they do have monsters that like special from hand and stuff. They can get on the field a little bit. Yeah. Nimbles yeah. was a pretty interesting one. I almost like when I, I almost was like, does that count as an archetype? And I was like, I guess they have enough cards. Yeah, they have like enough cards. They spam pretty, like hell. Yeah, they're pretty cool deck. I've seen them in combination with Paleozoics. Um, or Mermails. Yeah, or Mermails. Um, and I thought that maybe a Link monster that helps solidify the deck as itself instead of being as a turbo for other decks. Yeah. Yeah, it works. I mean, it could just be, end up being generic water support, you know, but That's true, yeah. still, either way, it, it works. Uh, and the last one you picked here is Ga 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 or whatever, Do Do Do, Go Go Go, yeah. all of them, because I guess they all count as like the same archetype for Yuma. Mm -hmm. um, I stayed away from this just because we just got the new Legendary Duelist revealed, and I figured if they're going to give them a Link monster, they'd put it in there, because Yuma's already confirmed to be one of the characters supported, but mm -hmm. they may not, and just put it in here. Yeah, and that's Dude. kind of behind the reason why I put it in there as well, just because Yuma's in there. Um, so if he's getting support with his decks, I think maybe, oh, they're going to save the uh, Link monster for the Reigns pack and just go, he we gave you just support now and here you go here's a little bit extra you know something like that yeah cool pretty quick and easy there <laughs> by quick and easy i mean 36 minutes <laughs> and then so <laughs> so that's pretty much it guys these are all our prediction lists a pretty in-depth look at why we picked pretty much everything here mm -hmm. um if you want to take the challenge feel free to make your own list and throw it in the comments down below uh i'll definitely when it's all said and done I'll probably definitely be making like a follow-up video talking about, I don't know, all the Link Reigns monsters that did finally get revealed and how well we did. And if you were pretty good in the comments, I'll probably mention you there. If you know you did, def did significantly better than we did, yeah. definitely mention it for if sure. If you do better than us, though, we're not splitting a pack for you. <laughs> yeah. That's an us thing. If you got friends, though, definitely hit them up. <laughs> if you got friends though definitely hit them up and be like yo you want a challenge let's hit up this bet and make a challenge real quick um yeah, it's super fun. It doesn't, didn't even take me that long to do it no it took them took most of us like pretty much like half an hour for most yeah, of us something like that half an hour. yeah pretty quick so definitely try it out guys if you're interested or if not just look at our list and root for whoever you want whoever you whoever you list you agree with the most root yeah. for us there yeah, drop a mic in the comments. Yeah, drop a, <laughs> drop mic. a mic in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let us know in the uh, comments who you guys run to, uh, who like you kind of feel su you're supporting the more, like supporting more. Yeah, which one? Which which list you uh, you vibe with the most? You mm -hmm. agree and that you have the most picks in common that you would like to see. Yeah, but that's pretty much gonna do it. Uh, Forty minutes is long enough for me for one video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. As always, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, you know, we just be eclipsed, eclipsed 500, Jesus, and we're rolling. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. As always, I'll catch you in the next video. Mike, Chris? Yep. Say right. something? <laughs> Maybe? Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for vibing with us today. Oh, my boy. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. Peace. 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 <laughs>